So today we're going to be continuing our Super Bowl recipe snack videos and I'm going to make some delicious, super easy to make chili, all right? So I have two cups of vegetable broth in the pot right now, getting warm. And I'm going to add to it one cup of TVP pieces. So if you don't know what TVP is, it's texture vegetable protein. It's kind of like, it kind of replicates a meat texture. So once you cook it, it gets puffed up and it has that meaty like feel. So what I'm gonna do is put those in the pot real fast and let that absorb. And then we'll cut our veggies and I'll show you the other recipe and I'll show you the other ingredients <laughs> that goes into this recipe, okay guys? All right, so now we're just gonna chop up the veggies like for bite-sized pieces real fast. We have some carrots. We have, well actually we have four medium carrots. We have one little zucchini and we have uh, the peppers that I had available. So about a, a three-fourth piece of pepper. That was just what I had left over because in chili you can add anything you want technically. You can add some corn to it whatever you like to it, okay? But this is gonna be a nice hearty vegetable chili. And I'm also gonna add two cans of beans in it as well. So let me get this all cut up. So stir that up after you add them to the pan. And at this point, I just add a little bit of seasonings to it. There's no measurements per se. This is a little bit of paprika. So you're just gonna maybe half a teaspoon of paprika. Oops, <laughs> that might be a little more. And then you'll, you can adjust as you go along, okay? I'm gonna use some garlic powder. Me about a half a teaspoon of that. And again, you can always add some more. We got some oregano. I usually do like about a pinch and a half of oregano. Onion powder. I just shake a little bit of onion powder in there. Maybe that one will be like a, say about a, table, about a teaspoon. And then we got some cumin to give it that smoky flavor. And say about a teaspoon of that as well. There you go. And then stir that into your veggies and your meat. Well, your texture of protein. <laughs> there you go. I just like to do it that way so that it kind of cooks out some of the spices. And you can adjust this to your taste. Let me add a little bit of salt. So probably about half a teaspoon of salt. Let that simmer for about two minutes. Okay, so I'm using two, two jars of this uh, salsa that's out here in Mexico. You can find this in the States as well. But um, this one, there's here out here is a little liquidy. So what I'm gonna do is just add two tablespoons of that inside the pot for now. Cause I wanna get these veggies to steam up. And I'm trying to get the veggies to kind of get a little bit al dente, okay? So they needed a little bit of liquid. So do that and put it on like medium high. Once the veggies get a little bit al dente, then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. 
So I put the lid on it with the salsa, with a little bit of that salsa to steam out the veggies. So they're now they're about al dente. All right, so now we're just gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So it's gonna be two jars of your favorite salsa. This is our favorite, well, it used to be our favorite, really favorite, but now they're kind of adding a lot more liquid to it. See that? And that's not good. But this is what we have out here in Mexico. That's okay. So add your favorite salsa. And at that point, this point too, guys, you can just add two cans of uh, crushed tomatoes as well. So it doesn't have to be salsa. It's just that salsa has all the onions in it you need and all the spices that you need. So that's really helpful. And plus it's easy. You don't have to um, add any of those extra spices I added as well. I just did because I like to up, my, up mine up a little bit. So I added one can of 15, 15 ounce can of pinto beans and then one can of black beans. We get that all stirred up. I have a little pot. You guys know I got small, small pots and stuff. But we gonna make it work. All right. So now we're going to get the lid, cover it up, and let it simmer on low heat for about an hour or until it gets nice and thick. Okay, guys. And then I'll show you what that looks like after it's done. So our chili is all done and check it out. I topped it with a little bit of onions and scallions. You can top it with uh, vegan sour cream, some cheese. You can eat it with some corn chips. I mean, it's nice and hearty. You can even eat it by itself, okay guys? So hopefully you enjoy this series with our Super Bowl snacks. And if you like videos like this and you wanna see more, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and even comment and let me know if you made this, all right guys, or any of our recipes. So I am Rosa and I will see you on our next video. Bye.